What do you think helped you love your hair, like the way your mm. hair is? Uh, getting to a point where um, I get very uh, content with with what God gave me. That's the first thing. Welcome to the Proud and Curly Podcast, the podcast all about celebrating naturally curly hair. I'm Sierra, your host and founder, also known as C. Johnson on YouTube and Instagram, and you, my girlfriend, are in the right place. Every week, you'll get new insight and curl inspiration on how to manage and maintain your natural curls. It doesn't matter if your hair is a wavy 2A type, a kinky 4C texture, or if you're anywhere in between. After the episode, the conversation always continues on the Proud and Curly Instagram page, so be sure to follow us there. This episode of the Proud and Curly podcast is brought to you by Proud and Curly Share Your Story. If you're learning to embrace your natural hair, we want to hear about it. What's your hair story? This show is made up of beautiful hair journeys and lessons from people all around the world, but no story is exactly alike, so we want to hear yours. Tell us a story about a hair mishap, adventure, or you can share an inspiring message for everyone to hear. This is your time to share your story and be featured on this podcast. To learn how, go to proudandcurly.com slash pages slash share your story. Let's start the show. Hi guys, welcome back to the Proud and Curly podcast. I'm Sierra, your host, and today I have a special, special guest with me. My boyfriend Rafi is in the house, is in the studio, and finally got him on the show. He's going to be sharing his hair journey. Hi. And we're going to talk about some other stuff. Thanks for joining the show, Rafi. How are you doing today? (laughs) How are you today? Doing good. He's a little nervous, or I think he was nervous. I don't know. All right, so we're just going to jump right on into it. Tell us about your hair journey. I know guys are kind of like, what are you talking about? It's just, I just get haircut. I feel like, do you think about it as a hair journey or no? Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah. Okay. Didn't know. Tell us about the start of your hair journey since you were a kid. What like kind of things that you go through with your hair? As a kid, I remember doing a, a hairstyle where you part your hair from this side across and like parting it right, giving yourself a part on the side right here. So like a preppy look almost. That's what I would go for if I, when I would do my own hair. But as a kid, my hair was really short majority of the time. I would Did you have long hair or short hair? Short hair, majority. Yeah. Okay. You when I was little, that. throughout my whole, yeah young life I would say do you remember your first haircut no okay I don't know I've never had a well I did do my first haircut (laughs) but um yeah okay so did you have braids or anything as a kid not as a little kid I had braids in high school in 10th grade in high school oh in high school yeah long braids or like cornrows cornrows how long was your hair my hair when i had braids the longest i had it i remember was from when i i got it from here from the front and pulled it down probably like below my bottom lip somewhere around here so what's that like six inches (laughs) so maybe like six inches (laughs) did it form an afro or no it was never a we you would say like a very formed afro it was more like plop 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 (laughs) how would you describe your hair texture coarse okay so when you have braids like what made you want to get braids and then what made you stop getting braids braids um was a style thing it was what during, it was like around that time where everybody oh, had braids. It was, yeah, everybody was getting braids. Everybody was getting braids. Why'd you cut your hair? Baseball. Baseball. Okay. We all had to cut. If we had long hair, we had to cut our hair. Oh, okay. All right. So, what did you think about hair growing up, like in general, like even with your sisters and your mom, like what, <clears throat> like what do you think about hair? There's so many different styles that I think. Everybody wants to try, and I don't think I don't. Not like it's a preference. Like 
between female and males, but I grew up with my mom and sister, so I would see them do their hair a lot, go through a lot of hair stuff, hair products, hair everything. Um, but I always liked hair. <laughs> Nice looking hair, um, people who treat their hair good, um, natural hair, love natural hair. Um, nice looking looks. Um, if, it, if it was on a guy's head, hair, uh, the same, like a nice haircut, you, can know, you could admire a nice haircut. Mm -hmm. Nice haircut or a nice healthy hair, um, a nice hairline, even a bald head. What? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going with this? I'm giving you what I like about hair. Like, there's so many different things about hair. Even a bald head. Even a bald, even not, what? even not having hair is like a nice hairdo. Okay. Yeah, it's like, okay. If you went bald one day, you would be cool with that? <laughs> yeah. Do you think you would? I don't think about it. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else that you want to add about your journey as a kid? As a kid? One of the big ones I remember growing up was... Um, when I started getting more of a consciousness of what's on my head, what kind of hair I have, because growing up I started seeing how there's so many different kinds of hair, be all different kinds of people with all different kinds of hair, and I started to realize like, oh, some people look really nice in their hairdo, or they have really nice natural hair, or that's just something that comes natural in their genes, like a particular kind of texture, whether it be curly or straight or something else. And I would, um, I don't know, I don't think I liked my hair too much growing up. You did it? Mm -mm. Why? I didn't think it was nice hair. What did you, what did you want your hair to be like? Um, I wanted it to be close to fine, curly. Like looser? Pattern? Maybe like your hair. <laughs> Looser like pattern? Hair? Um, even like your hair. Because um, my hair, growing up, I, re I remember it being, it's like the same still, but like growing up, I just felt like my hair was super dry. Super dry, like super nappy. And I would um, observe the other kids' hairs. I'm like, oh, these kids have nice hairs. And I would think like, oh, why don't I have why don't I have nice hair? So growing up, I didn't really like my hair. Um, I mainly had it <coughs> cut short anyway, like real short. But when it would grow, I, I would feel the, the texture of it. And I wouldn't, and I would know it's not the same texture as these other um, people's hairs. It's very fine or very nice and curly. So like, you can find some very nice curly haired people around this world. What do you think? Helped you love your hair, like the way your mm. hair is. Uh, getting to a point where um, I get very uh, content with with what God gave me. That's the first thing, and then just believing that eventually what I want is gonna happen. I don't know. It was like it 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 started to become a uh, like the the best case scenario. Where this is the best hair for me and I started to have more fun with it more love for it and like enjoy it mm. did that take a long time yeah 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 but you would think you so you would hold you held on to like those thoughts of your hair from high school For a long time. Yeah. Except more recently. Um, I would say, and about high school was when it started to like break, break away in a way. Oh, okay. Yeah. From a guy's perspective, me personally, I thought about hair more than I would care for. Mm. Now that I appreciate what I, what is, what I have on top of my head, and I like what I have on top of my head, and I appreciate what God gave me, 
I'm cool. So I still care for it though. I care for it and treat it right the best I can and like try to show some love to it. Get some nice haircuts that I like or put some nice products in my hair that I like. But um, growing like from a male's perspective and being personal, I thought about it pretty frequently at a younger age. It's like even up to high school pretty frequently. Um, okay. More than I would care for. <laughs> so what do you go for now? Like when you get your hair cut, like what kind of style are you going for with your hair? I think you have it, but you can tell us. Um, I have a pre-look of what I like. <laughs> oh, I say that because like sometimes when you get haircuts, you don't really get in the groove of the actual hairdo until like close to the middle point or the middle point of your Once actual grows in hair enough. growth mm -hmm. after your haircut because it seems to have a middle ground flow to it and you or for me personally I like somewhere where it falls in between because when it grows out it grows out and it looks afro-y or messy when it's too short or fresh it looks might it might look not too filled in some shades look lighter than others um, so fades is a consistent kind of thing I go to seasonally from getting my hair cut short all the way, like cut down, um, where I could brush my hair forward. So what are you going for now? What is this called? Right now, this is a high top fade. I don't know high top fade. <laughs> okay. Fade the sides, blend in as you go higher and higher into the top of your hair. Um, I cut most of what I had on top of my hair, so now it's short, but my hair grows pretty fast. So you want to grow in a little bit more, and that'll be your ideal kind of... Yeah, grow in a little bit more. But would you cut this back down to the short? Um, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I would just cut the sides and keep the hair on top growing. Oh, okay. So right now I just cut everything <clears throat> short from where it, from what it was before, and I'm gonna let it grow, and then probably after that I'll just get my hair cut all the way down to um, a short haircut. They would call that a Caesar, like get it all one. Are you gonna number. do that in the summer? When are you gonna do that? Mm, probably close to spring. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Or even into the winter. Like, once this grows out, what? I'm probably going to cut it to that short. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, how would you describe your hair routine? <clears throat> like, daily? <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> daily. Um, take a shower. <laughs> Good to know. Take a shower. <laughs> Where usually that's where the rinsing of the hair happens. Not too much washing. I do my hair washing at least once every two weeks, twice every two weeks. Depends on how, how active I am and how much hair I have. Um, for example, if I have a lot of hair and I'm running a lot, that means I'm sweating every day, I'm going to wash my hair more frequently to can get the salt out of my scalp. But if I'm not too active, um, I'm washing my hair like once or twice every two weeks because it can get dry and it starts to get brittle. You don't want, you don't want that. Mm. Um, yeah, if you overwash it, yeah, it starts to get like dry and stuff. So you gotta take care of it, keep the moisture, keep it moisturized. So routine, take a shower. <laughs> it's gonna get wet. Maybe I'll wash it. If it's time to wash it, conditioner. <laughs> Condition my hair. Um, cold water helps. Cold water yeah. seems to keep the moisture in your hair. When? Mm. When do you use cold water? Um, every day. I mean, the whole time or oh. just when you're... Just in a certain part. <clears throat> a certain part of the shower. 
Oh, washing your hands. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, you said it. <laughs> no, so no, no. I yeah. want to know what you do. Sometimes if the whole... Could... Look at this. Oh, I don't know if I've done that the whole time, sweetie. No, you're fine. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you're going to be talking to the camera, you uh-huh. can look over here. But... Okay. I think I'm going to just focus on here and here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's over there. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about what, when do you use cold water? Okay. Um, cold water, I would use to rinse out my hair all the time. Just rinsing it out. You could wash your hair in cold water, too. Oh, okay. Um, I would prefer both. But there's times where I do start off with warm water to shampoo. I don't know why. See, he knows. I don't know why, though. That's what I was going to say. It's good to, when you like are washing your hair, I think it's good to wash it with warm water. It doesn't need to be hot, but like warm water for you. And then um, once you got your conditioner, like your deep conditioning or whatever, I don't know if you deep condition. Like, do you deep condition and let it sit on your hair while you shower? I think I was trying to get you to do that. So, like, you, just leave the you put the conditioner in. in. And sometimes you could use, like, something that's a heavier conditioner. It's like a deep conditioner or a mask or something. And you let that sit on your hair while you shower. Or you could get out and, like... Let it sit for hours on your hair and then rinse it out. You don't do all that, do you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? You lost me when you said I like, put my uh, I leave it in the conditioner because I'm like okay. <laughs> no, like you leave it in and then you come back to the shower to rinse it out later. Like you leave. Oh, a whole like bunch, walk out the shower. Or you leave it while you're showering. Nah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then rinse it at the end of your shower. That I would do. I would leave it in there for... And then, that's what I'm saying. After that, that's when you use the cold water. Gotcha. To be like, shh. But, so, after you wash your hair, what do you do next? After I wash my hair? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would pat my hair dry. Using what? A towel. Okay. And then, um, some, most times if I have my hair long, I'm not going to comb it out. I'll do the combing in the shower as I shampoo. But once I get out the shower, rinsed out my hair with some cold water, I would pat my hair dry and put some moisture in it sometimes, mainly coconut oil. That's the only product you use? Mm, no. I use uh, I use mainly gels when I want to style my hair. So, usually some kind of like clear aloe vera, qual- good quality gel. So, coconut oil and a good quality gel. Mm-hmm. A coconut oil mainly when I don't want to style my hair. Like, before I go to bed, I want to just moisturize my hair. Coconut Are those oil. your, like... The, the, would those be your favorite products? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you which one? Which kind of gel is your favorite? The um, Auntie Jackie's black seed. Um, I'm uncertain though. I you introduced me to Aunt Jackie's. Aunt Jackie's is pretty good. Uh, they have the flaxseed one, which is the red top, I think, and then they have the coconut one, which is like the white top or brown top or black top. Brown. Or something. I think okay. it's brown. And on Jackie's, I like their their quality is good quality, um, but the flaxy one leaves your hair pretty hard. The thing about using gel, I don't want to use a gel that keeps my hair hard. I've had that experiences growing up. All these hair products that I would test because my mom or sisters would have them, and there's some stuff that leave your hair like crunchy, mm-hmm. like, mm. like or, the ice gel. Um, yeah, that kind of gel or some other like liquid stuff, liquid curly bond. I don't know what it was, but super hard. And then as well, it'll flake when you touch it, it'll flake so bad. You're like, no, that's not. Mm-mm. 
So on Jackie's doesn't flake, the flaxy one, but it leaves your hair sort of hard. Mm. The coconut one I like because it's softer. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't style your hair as curly as the flaxseed one. Really? Yes. It's soft. It doesn't hold the curl. It doesn't hold as much as the flaxseed one. But the coconut one is softer. It doesn't feel hard on your hair. But it doesn't <clears> look <throat> like the style of the flaxseed one. Where it's like tighter curls and looks a little bit more styled up a little. Um... One thing that I've been introduced to recently that I really, really like is this Uncle Jimmy's oh, yeah. um, curly cream. Holy moly. When we went to Curl Fest, Uncle... No. I think that was Curls, Kinks, and Culture, CKC Fest. No, nah, well, the big one with the... They were there? With oh, the, that's what... Talia. Tal- 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 yeah, Talia Wajid. Talia, yeah, yeah. That was CKC. They gave us... Okay. They gave us some, that's what that's what it was. They gave us some, like, little sample packs. I think it was called Curl, what was the thing called? Mm, was it Elixir or? Curl Bond. It, it had a better, sophisticated name than they that. They have some curling products, the oh, yeah. Uncle Jimmy's. Uncle Jimmy's. That and thing, he it's likes like it. A, it's a, it was like a curl cream. Oh. So, it's a white cream, but it had, it had very... Like simple ingredients in it, like coconut oil and shea butter in it, and like natural things that I like because natural is the way to go. I love natural. That was a moment of <laughs> silence. Did you woo saw that? Natural? Oh, yeah. Ooh, natural. Mm. So, this product has a natural feel to it, and it feels great in your hair. And it doesn't get oh, hard. It doesn't get hard, but it has the shine. Oh. It doesn't get hard, but it has the shine. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's beautiful. It's so like it feels great in your hair. It's soft. It smells good. And then in, throughout the day, you you look at your hair and it's still styled, curly, nice and shiny. And then you touch it, it's like like some mother goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that's how I feel about the Talia Wajid thing. I was trying to get you to try today. I have it on my hair. <laughs> you combed it out. And then it's still in my hair. I combed my hair out. Well, how do you think? What do you think about that? I, it felt soft. I feel my hair now. I don't feel any kind of greasy, <laughs> greasiness or nothing. Yeah, that's what I use the Talia Wajid. I talked about that in my episode. In my update for my natural hair journey, I talked about what products I use, so definitely check that out. But we're going to have to get him some more Uncle Jimmy's, apparently. I didn't know he liked it that much. I was like, here's these packets. Take them. They're these free trial things they gave us here. It was like five of them. <laughs> he used all of them. He used all of them, man. <laughs> we got to figure out where they sell I, that. I tried to spare the last two. They came in little sample packets. Like, you had to squeeze it out of it. Like Wasn't it two different week. things? Or no? Was it the same oh, thing? Oh, and the other one was a... Mold putty. Something like that. A mold putty. <laughs> Something like that. Well, the putty thing is for shorter hair. It's for, it's for like, like Caesars. Like, short-haired. Oh, to keep forward, it down. kind of thing. Yeah, to keep it down. Waves. Probably. Oh. Yeah. We got men's Sorry, natural hair products. Anyways, right, cool. Right. So now we know about your hair history, hair mm-hmm. journey, mm-hmm. and your style and what you use. Uncle Jimmy's is what you recommend. I recommend it. Yeah. Um, oh, and there's another gel, oh, too. Okay. I'm sorry. It's like an aloe vera gel I really like. It's my go-to. <clears throat> um, what is that brand? I see <laughs> something. I see. I see something. I see. I think it's just I see. I see. Like an I and a C. I see. <clears throat> okay, good. <laughs> so, I have another question for you. We're going to change the topic a little bit. Okay. We're going to flip it. Flip it a little bit. Get into the juicy part. Okay. 
So, as a man, you read it, my question? No, I'm not. As a man, what are your thoughts on natural hair versus relaxed hair and, like, mm. weaves and wigs? Like, what do you think about it? Are you cool with it? I don't like it. You don't like what? I said um, versus. I love natural hair. <laughs> That's it? You're not going to expand? Why don't you like... Yeah, there we go. Why don't you like... What 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 hair. don't you like? Yeah. Oh, well, I... Just say, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Because it's unnatural. I love natural. I love all kinds of hair. I love people who take care of their hair. Um, I don't like the products. I don't like the products. I don't like that. I like the... What products? The products that people put on their hair, in their hair, use for their hair to... Um, <clears throat> to change it? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Um, it's, it's the more, the, it's more the products I don't like. The products that just convert your hair to something that's not as natural as it would be without those products that just change everything about your hair. That, or even the additions to the, to your natural hair, the extensions and the fake hair and all that. I don't like it. So you don't like my crochet braids? What are those? So if you can tell that it's fake, you don't like it. But if you can't tell it's fake... No, no, no. I don't like it at all. Okay. When you met me, I didn't have braids. But then I had braids shortly after. Mm -hmm. You didn't like those braids? Mm -mm. (laughs) Okay. I like her, but I don't like fake hair. Does it feel like the hair is in between you and me? No, no. the, The fake stuff doesn't get in the way. Is this a preference? So when so if someone has weaves or wigs or whatever, you just don't like it. It's just not what you would choose. Mm-mm. But Mm-mm. it's okay that they do that. Like who's me? they? Me. <laughs> you do it, <laughs> and you look good. Okay. So all you want to say on that topic? I don't care. <laughs> You don't care about don't it. Care. We went on a cruise, and I was supposed to put in these. I think I had faux locks or something. No, no, it was um. Oh, what's it called? I had so it was like some kind of twist. I forget Marley twist, I think. And I was supposed to put that in my hair, and I didn't have time all the way up till. And I brought the hair with me, and I was going to put the hair in my head there. Like, I don't even know how, but I was just going to put it in my hair. And you were just like, he was totally against. He was like, no, you could just let it be. Just don't worry about it. And every time I would be like, oh, let's put it in my hair. Like, I'm going to put it in. He's like, oh. Before the trip. I brought them on the trip, too. I know. And by the time you brought the hair on the trip, basically me telling you not to do it is basically because you're on vacation. Why are you trying to put on hair? Because I don't want to <laughs> worry about my hair. I do it well, because you... it gives me a break from my hair. So when I have braids in, you don't have to do my hair. When my hair was long, it was a lot of work. A lot of stuff to not keep really. up with. Yes, it was. Really How nice. are you going to say not really? It looks nice the way it is. Yeah, but you didn't have to do it. <laughs> Sh- shrug shoulders? <laughs> yeah, I don't what? Have to do- uh, you, what do you, what kind of work did you have to do? The detangling alone in the shower <clears throat> took forever. And it looking dry like a day or two after I put all of these products and do all this work. And it not being in any style. You still have puffy and... A nice, beautiful, natural, beautiful afro. Curly it's, afro. It's not really an afro. It was a curly it was just a big puffy work of art. puff. It's a work of art. Okay. Put a clip in of your beach picture right here. <laughs> so we can it's see beach picture. the afro hair. That's that my beautiful. hair blowing all over the place. <clears throat> After we left there, I really had to do some work to it so I could look decent. All right. So you looked pretty the whole time. Kids, I had do, to do... You had to do a lot of work to do that. 
I had to do some work. Yeah, when I'm on vacation, I don't want to be doing my hair every time. Oh, we went to the beach. Gotta go wash my hair and figure out what product I can put in. Well, you did it. Because I couldn't really bring products because we were flying there. You um, can't bring big jugs of products. So bring what you have. Your nice crown of curly hair. And okay, so moving on to the present. Honestly, mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think of my hair now? It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. This short? I love it. You, he told me he wants it shorter, actually. Right. No, it's time to get the haircut. Just get it the trim down, you know, get it back. Cut it even. back down. Yeah, I haven't cut down. it since I... Get it fresh. Since I cut it. <clears throat> it hasn't been cut, so it's getting thick in there. It looked good like a week mm-hmm. after. I like the length it was at a week after I, um, I cut it. It grew in nicely. This has been almost... This has been three weeks, going on four. No oh, since your birthday, so yeah, almost four. Well, it's before my, well, it's been four. It's before my birthday. Mm-hmm. So this is four weeks. Okay, this is four weeks. It's much thicker, I think, mm-hmm, than mm-hmm. what you, how, how I would describe it. But, and it's growing in more, I feel like, here. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I have, like, a little bit of a part. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm. I just still try to throw Matalia Wajid in there and hope that that's going to work out for it. Mm-hmm. This is his famous method, the padding padding method. That's what he does to his hair. So apparently, this is a technique that we need to pick up. <laughs> Product Girly Tribe, the padding method. Would you recommend that to everyone? Yeah, yeah. If your hair sort of picks up, puffs up more on one side and the other, pat it a little down, get it back into the other hair. It's like a bush. Just what? put it in there, you know, tap, pat it in there. Get it to a point it's where like it's like a light pat. All even, all around, give it the even. You don't want to go like certain, this? Certain parts of your hair grow faster than others. So that makes sure the curls <coughs> are in the right spots. Make sure the shape is in there. Get the shape, make sure the shape is what you would like it to be, round, square. Yeah, but if you pick it out and it's all like the stock market. What? <laughs> you want to keep it under control. <laughs> Hence the pet down. <laughs> so, hey, you know, just give it a little pet. Pat your partner's hair. <laughs> Sound like what a preacher would Happy say. Happy Valentine. Tell the person on your left side. Pat the, pers- hat, pat the person's next to you here now. <laughs> Tell them, it's all going to be all right. It's all going to be all right. Well, that is all. That was all? all the, that's all the questions I have for you, unless there's something else that you wanted to share with the... Uh, um, no, it was a pleasure being on your podcast show. This is amazing. I, I enjoy your shows. Thank you. So this is cool. Is it going to be weird to see yourself on it? Definitely. Are you still nervous? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Well, it's over. We made it. You made it through. I don't want it to be over. Oh, really? I want this to last forever. <laughs> you can come back anytime. I can come back anytime? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to watch it and be like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When it, I don't care. Let uh, me know. Okay. Shoot. Let me know. What else you got in there? See, I knew he was keeping some stuff. He's talking about. Oh yeah, that was my childhood. I'm like, <clears throat> what? I told you. Mm-hmm. I told you my hair was short, <laughs> dry. Man, we we went through it. Okay, you're good. Okay, we gotta close out the show. Proud and curly podcast. We got proud and curly shirts on. Oh, you want to promo the shirts? Okay. Look at it. I mean, that's a nice fabric. As I rub my chest. No, but it's a nice fabric. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> you must be telling people to buy their shirts. Oh, yeah. It's definitely buy these shirts. <laughs> Where can they find it? <laughs> what? On the website.
website. You don't know this? What's the website? Should I guess and say proudandcurly.com? Did I get it right? You don't know the website? Uh, I might not know it. <laughs> I, I don't want to get it wrong, but I'm just going to... It's proudandcurly.com. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. I wasn't sure. You don't know? You haven't been to the website? I put all these links everywhere. You don't click on these links? No. <laughs> don't the, be like this guy. Click on the link. On the YouTube? Yeah. It's always in the link. The links are always in the description box, in the show notes. If you want to purchase your shirt. Come on, babe. What are you doing? This is your one shot. <laughs> so much pressure. <laughs> I got, I got the okay, website right. Okay, let's let's reset. Proudandcurly.com. Oh my god, baby, you have to reset back <clears throat> to the. Proudandcurly.com. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <laughs> Proudandcurly.com. Get. Huh? Never mind. Proudandcurly. Get your shirts at. Proudandcurly.com. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah? What am I saying wrong? I don't get it. <laughs> Proudandcurly.com, right? Yes, that's yeah. the website. But I was saying you had to reset to the other part that What's you were that? saying. Never mind. Oh, oh, and these shirts, so soft, feel so good. I am Proud and Curly. And you can find these shirts at <laughs> Proudandcurly.com. <laughs> Are we going to say that at the same time? Oh, okay. And How did... Oh, shoot. Babe, what is happening? I don't know. Are you... I'm getting sleepy. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. We're... I'm trying to close the show out. Okay. But yes, if you want to purchase your shirt, you can get it at... Proudandcurly.com. There we go. Yeah. Did that help? No. I thought it... I loved you. You didn't like that? <laughs> I like you again. Well, thank you for coming on the show and oh, sharing your journey. This was special. This has been interesting. Thank you for inviting me. I hope you had fun. I hope you had fun. This was pretty... Um, I feel like you're still so nervous. Babe, hmm. calm down. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? <sighs> Relax. Take a load off. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. Be sure to go to proudandcurly.com to get your shirts. Let us know down in the comments down below what you thought. And, yeah, subscribe, like, and share this with your beautiful friends. We'll see you guys next week with another episode. Bye. You gotta do the peace sign. Bye. All right, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to the Proud and Curly podcast. If you like the podcast, please show your support by leaving a rating on the Apple Podcast app. It helps me so much, and it also helps other people find the show. Special thanks to Terrence Esquire Huggins for producing the music in this podcast. You can always check out his website, SoundCloud, and follow him on social media at Esquire Music 111. All of his links are in the show notes. If you're looking for more curly content, be sure to follow us on Instagram. But until next week, stay proud and curly.